Yo, what's good, peeps? We're going to take a very quick look at March's free PS Plus games versus Xbox free games with gold, so make sure you keep it low. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to Urban Gameplay Weekly Gaming News Updates. Starting over on the PlayStation side of the fence, PS5 and PS4 owners will be able to access Ghost of Tsushima Legends in the month of March. This is basically a standalone to the cooperative multiplayer experience where you can choose from four unique classes such as Samurai, Hunter, Ronin or Assassin. You get an opportunity to invite friends or use online matchmaking to fight side by side as Legends in four exciting game modes. Now to me, Ghost of Tsushima in general is an awesome game, so this definitely is is worth grabbing if you never got the opportunity to play the online mode of the game yet. Ghost Runner is also on the PlayStation Plus freebie list for the month of March for PS5 owners. Will the Blade and perform amazing parkour feats to battle your way up a mega structured tower city in this intense fast paced first person adventure game. Now me personally, I'm not even going to hide it. I'm super happy that this game is on the freebie list because this is definitely one of the games that I really wanted to pick up on launch and just never gotten around to buying it. So for me, this is going to be the first time they get an opportunity to experience this game and it's probably one of the first times that I can remember that I've actually held off buying a game that I really want and it ends up turning up on one of these freebie lists. Oh, I Next up for PS4 owners is Ark Survival Evolved. Now, in this MMO survival game, you awaken on the shores of a mysterious island and must quickly adapt to everything its hostile environment throws at you. Now, I originally played Ark quite some time ago, and even though this game can consume so much of your time, it is really, really a good game and definitely something that I found really engaging, but you do have to kind of have the time to commit to playing this type of game, but definitely still a great game to be added on the freebie list. Last and certainly not least on the PlayStation side of the fence is Team Sonic Racing. Now, in this awesome racer game, you get a chance to face off with friends in intense multiplayer racing, race together across stunning worlds, and work together as a team by sharing power-ups and speed boosts. Now, while I'm not gonna lie, I still personally prefer All-Star Transform, this game is still a really, really fun Sonic racing game, and definitely great to add to your collection, especially considering that if you do have PS Plus membership, it will be free next month. Moving over to the Xbox side of the fence when it comes to the freebies for the month of March for Xbox Gold members. And first game we've got listed here is The Flame in the Flood, which will be available for the entire month of March. Now you will get a chance to scrounge for resources, craft tools, remedy afflictions, evade the vicious wildlife, and most importantly, stay healthy in a dangerous wilderness. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really too familiar with this specific game, but it definitely does seem like a pretty decent game for gamers who love a little bit of exploration exploration and kind of gives me that sort of arc evolved feeling so maybe it's comparable to what's available over on the playstation side of the fence but as i said i'm not too familiar with this specific game but it seems pretty decent to say the least <laughs> From the 16th of March up until the 15th of April, you will be able to download Street Power Soccer for all who have the All Important Gold membership. In this game, you get to try tricks, over the top game modes and playgrounds and unleash your soccer superpowers. Now, I'm not gonna lie here, I did purchase this game on launch simply because I did feel that this maybe be a replacement for a game such as FIFA Street, but I was definitely wrong. I'm not gonna lie, I was disappointed that I did pay full price for this game as I thought it certainly would have been better than what I actually experienced. But keeping it real, I do think as a freebie or a free game with uh, Xbox Games with Gold, it definitely is a still decent title to add to your collection because there is still fun to be had here. But I'm not gonna lie, overall paying for this specific game, I was a little bit disappointed. <laughs> On the 
360 side of the fence and also playable on Xbox One is Sacred 2 Fallen Angel and you will be able to download this from the 1st of March up until the 15th. In this game you get a chance to choose to embark upon light or shadow campaigns to help heal the land of Ankeria or intensify the chaos. I have heard of this game before, but I never actually got an opportunity to play it. So I'm not sure how good the game actually is, but there seems to be mixed reviews where a lot of people do enjoy it and some people are probably sitting on the fence, but I do feel it's still definitely worth giving it a spin if you haven't had the chance to play it before. Also available on the Xbox 360 side of the fence and playable on Xbox One, which you will be able to download from the 16th of March to the 31st of March, is SpongeBob's Truth or Square. Now, SpongeBob has lost the Krabby Patty secret formula, and with your help and the help of some bikini bottom buddies, SpongeBob must use Plankton Memory Machine to retrace the happiest moments of his life and find the formula. Now, this is a pretty cool game. Personally, I would have definitely loved to have seen Xbox at the more recent SpongeBob game but definitely this is still a good look and a decent adventure game for those who really want a bit of a laugh over the next coming weeks I guess the big question is which is the better month is it the PlayStation Plus free games or is it games with gold well to me this definitely is an easy call as PS Plus definitely smashed it out of the park this month definitely by a landslide in my humble opinion pretty much most of the games that are offered for the PlayStation Plus are really great games especially if you haven't had the opportunity to play them before as I said when I was actually mentioning it a game such as Ghost Runner is one that I don't currently own and it's been a game that's definitely been on the radar for some, quite some time for me to actually get around to picking up and i'm really happy that a game like that has been included even the other games such as the team sonic racing is a really really cool racing game not maybe as good as the likes of mario kart but that's none the least taking anything about away from the fun that you will experience in that specific game for me looking at the xbox side of the fence it's not terrible but at the same time i do feel that there definitely could have been a few better games thrown in like i mentioned even with the like of the spot SpongeBob game, which is still a really cool game. I would have definitely have liked to have seen the more recent release maybe added to the lineup this month. Anyway, peeps, that's just my quick sense. As I said, I do feel that PlayStation definitely got the one up on the Xbox this month. So definitely do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as to which lineup you preferred. What games out of both are you looking forward to grabbing? As always, if you did enjoy this very quick urban gameplay video, be sure to smash the like button. Do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so before. And until next video, we definitely say peace. Peace out, peeps. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos. Oh, I understand something.